The 25th edition of Arabian Travel Market got underway earlier today here in Dubai, bringing together travel and tourism experts from around the globe. Over 2,500 companies have stands this year. Organizers say that they are forecasting over 9 billion dirhams worth of deals to be signed over four days. Aside from new technology, other key highlights of ATM are new hotel property launches, sustainable, responsible tourism, and airline connectivity. Dubai's Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing has released its annual visitor report 2017, providing details on the Emirates tourism performance last year, as well as an overview of future growth as Dubai moves rapidly towards its goal of receiving 20 million visitors per year by the year 2020. Earlier, I asked Issam Kazim, the CEO of Dubai Tourism, about the current outlook. For us, it's about creating a sustainable opportunity for tourism. We have a lot of um, investment going in towards creating the right opportunities, the right offering for the right target audiences at the right time. Um, so you can see with the number of hotels that have come up and a lot of them being three and four star hotels, a lot of our partners from the local industry have actually created beautiful hotels um, that fit within that segment as well. We've also looked at the theme parks that have come online with DPR, with the IMG Worlds of Adventure. And you can see that that offering in itself as a family destination is becoming stronger and stronger. And you can see that a lot more from the near region as well as the wider um, uh, travel uh, uh, audiences are attracted to Dubai and are regularly coming to Dubai. So in a sense, where does that leave this idea of Dubai as the five-star destination? I think there is a segment that's so interested in the five-star and Dubai does that really well and we've seen that historically. But it's also important for people to realize that doesn't, Dubai doesn't just care to that uh, segment. There's also a lot to offer for the people who are looking for a budget hotel, but for an overall experience of Dubai. And there's, there's something for them to do as well. So I think um, there isn't a one-size-fits-all, and even our approach hasn't been that. Dubai is quite varied. The opportunities are very varied. And I think everybody needs to come and explore and find out why Dubai is unique, uniquely important for them as a destination. Dubai received over 650,000 cruise ship tourists last year. This number set to increase to 1 million by the year 2020. Expansion works at the UAE's cruise terminals have directly strengthened growth. Mina Rashid in Dubai is set to be the largest cruise terminal in the world, capable of handling 18,000 travelers every single day. The cruise globally has been around for 48 years and uh, we've been here since 99 uh, raising this awareness and but it's been it's been very active obviously in the past few years simply because we actually have home ports so we can showcase the ships uh, in the GCC rather than promoting and raising awareness abroad and telling them okay you need to fly to the set destinations in Europe Asia North America to try the product but once it became available here uh, people are actually have to had a chance to see it firsthand and sh and show and see the showcase the the product and then now they're going abroad and experiencing different ships to, through our brands and others as well. Intercontinental Hotels Group says it's expanding its footprint here in the UAE with the opening of a five-star mountain resort and a planned city property. IHG says that this region remains a center of growth for their business. We have uh, 84 hotels already in the Middle East and we are growing by 25% in the next three to five years. So it's quite important. We signed last year, uh, uh, last week, sorry, uh, at uh, Hayek uh, uh, MDA with uh, Allocare for 10 Holiday Inn Express in Saudi Arabia. So that's really great. And uh, just uh, also last week we opened the Holiday Inn and uh, signed a stay bridge suite in Dubai Festival City with Al Futem Group, our great partner. So. All of that gives us good perspective. We are bringing the mid-scale brand to Dubai. We are also opening Hotel Indigo in Business Bay, first quarter. So we are adjusting our brand to the new clientele, to the millennial, to the tourists that are going to come to in the coming years. Before Expo, during Expo, after Expo.